reality may be sinking in for parents in Cabarrus County. Late last night, they learned their children would be learning from home full time starting in August. Yeah, leaders there erring on the side of caution. Reporter Gene Esposito joining us now live near Concord High School. So Gina, last night's uh, vote, it was a close one with the school board. I mean, this really shows how divided on uh, how to teach kids this fall. Yeah, you know, just last week, Plan B was a recommended option here for Cabarrus County Schools where students would go back in the classroom at least one day a week, remote the rest. But last night, board members voted four to three for Plan C, meaning when students go back in the fall, they'll be learning remote. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the board meeting from last night. This is some video of it. Under Plan C, students would be remote Monday through Thursday. And during that time, there'll be daily live instruction, video lessons, and social emotional learning. Friday will be an independent work day, and teachers will hold office hours. Cabarrus County Schools also launched a brand new virtual learning academy for parents who have already decided on remote learning for their children. Parents have until the end of the year to apply for, end of the month to apply for that, excuse me. As you saw from last night, the vote was close. Some board members did not agree with the Plan C plan. You know, at the end of the day, our job as a board is to um, provide the best education that we can for the kids of Cabarrus County um, and to make sure that we're providing them with a quality education. And right now, we're not. We all have to up our game starting when, when we start back here. And that means teachers have to up their game. Teachers' expectations of students have to be upped because we're now going to be grading and working on it. And parents' expectation for teachers has to be upped. Now, the district will continue to monitor COVID-19 cases. You know, it's possible that maybe later in the school year they can make a recommendation for a safe transition for more in-person learning. Back to you.